So we're going to do some cooling postures here um, in Mountain Pose. And so we're going to first start with our uh, half sun salutation. So we won't do a full sun salutation today because it would be too stimulating and, and too much heat. So we want to stay with some more cooling poses. And so the breathing today, we're using a lot of that to bring, to cool the body down. So feet directly under your hips, rotate your palms out and just take those shoulders back and down as you lift your heart. Just take a moment to sense your feet. Again, that rooting and grounding sensation and just rolling the weight a little bit to your toes and back to your heels. And just finding your center, your balance. And then pause there in the middle, just holding. Feeling your ears over your shoulders and your shoulders over your hips. Your hips over your ankles. Now we're gonna inhale, circle the arms up. As you exhale, you're going to soften the knees and into that forward fold. Inhale, come halfway up. Good. Exhale, bend your knees into the forward fold. Then inhale, circle the arms up. And as you exhale, press your palms together and to your heart center. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale to the swan dive, forward fold. Inhale to a half lift, maybe the hands are on the shin. Exhale to the forward fold. Inhale, circle the arms up. Press the hands together and to your heart center. Let's just do this one more time, feels great. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, swan dive to the forward fold. Inhale, come into a half lift. Exhale to the forward fold. Inhale, circle your arms up. Press those hands together and now to your heart center. We're going to come down to the floor. So let's grab both your strap and your block. That was fun. I'm glad that you did that with me. So it's a, it's also a little mind game with it. <laughs> you really have to focus on that one. So um, on your back, we're going to do a little bridging. So I'd like you to lay down, but have your, your block, of course, close by. Grab onto the back of your legs and roll down. Walk your feet a little bit in and tuck those shoulders under. So let's um, just stretch out your back. Tuck, again, the chin in. You're going to let your hands rest to the sides of your hips. Take an inhale as you exhale, pulling the navel in and lifting your hips up. Now float the arms up and over the top of the head. Take a big deep breath in and as you exhale out, let's slowly roll down through that spine. And then float the hands down to your hips. So a couple more times. You inhale, let the tailbone drop and just the hip bones come up slightly so you have that natural arch. As you exhale, you pull into the core and pressing your mid back into the floor. Press down into your feet, lift your hips up Engage into the abdominals and then float your arms up and over the top of your head, reaching back. Deep inhale. As you exhale, slowly articulate down. Slowly move through that mid back and low back. Release your hips, release your hands. Beautiful. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. Pulling the navel to the spine, press down in your feet, 
Lift your hips up, chin to the chest, and float the arms up and over. Big deep breath in. And as you exhale out, we'll slowly move through those shoulder blades, the back of the rib cage, through the mid back, and now through the sacrum. Now I'd like you to walk your feet a little bit closer, but stay on your toes, or the heel is just lifting, just slightly. You're gonna lift your hips up, and I'd like you to slide your block in that middle um, section, right? So you're gonna slide the block underneath the sacrum, and maybe a little bit towards the, you know, just a little bit above the tailbone. Remember this, um, if you don't have a block, you are welcome to grab a, a rolled up blanket, even just a rolled up towel. We'll just lift the hips a little bit. So we want this inversion. We want the hips to be above our heart. And we let the arms just rest to our side. Anytime this block does not feel good for you, you know, just get rid of it. You are, go down one level, right? Go down to the lowest level. Let's take about three more breaths. Just relaxing your legs, softening the shoulders and the face. Just take one more full breath. Now I'd like you to come back onto your toes. And now you're going to lift the hips up and pull that block away, but keep your hips lifting. Keep your heels up. And now you're just going to roll down, but keep the heels lifting. Roll down through the low back, through the mid back, and now all the way through the sacrum. Very nice. So we're gonna grab your strap. And we're gonna do um, legs, of, sort of like legs up the wall, but we're gonna use our strap today to help us. Um, I, because you know not everyone has that wall space. So we're, we'll, we're gonna just stay right here. If you have a strap or a TheraBand, you can use that. You can use a towel, you know, roll it up and put it around your feet. So you take one knee at a time and take that strap around both feet. And go ahead and just even out those strap and then release the elbows to the floor. Now, if your legs are feeling super heavy, you're gonna hold the strap with both hands. And that is, works really well. Or you can take the strap, wrap it around the back of the hand and rest your elbows to the floor. And draw the legs a little bit towards you. Tuck the chin in, and you can, again, always soften the knees. So really the point of the um, pose is to get the blood to flow away from your feet, get it to flow away from the calves, the legs, the swelling. Sometimes that if you ever have some swelling in the legs, this is a pose you would, you would do just to reduce that swelling and, and just um, make the blood flow in, in the reverse direction, right? It's really good um, for varicose veins can be helpful that way. So flex the feet a little bit more. Let's take three more breaths. Now we'll come into a V shape. So bring your arms up and now we slide the foot open. So we let the legs go as far open as we can. So this would still be something we could do with legs up the wall. 
um, just stretching through the inner thighs and the pelvis. And your elbows are up. Your shoulder blades might be a little bit um, lifted from the floor, but it's okay. Relax the shoulders down a little bit. Close your eyes and stay here for five full breaths. Good, take one more full breath. Now you're gonna slide your feet together and bend your knees. Let's go ahead and take this strap off to the side. And we'll come into a really nice twist. You're going to take your right leg over your left. So it's like you're sitting in a chair crossing your legs. You're gonna bring both legs up and wrap your hands around the hamstring and just hug the knees in towards your chest. And you wanna take at least three more breaths because you may feel a nice little stretch here into the right um, gluteus. Now we're going to come into that twist. So what we want to do is instead of rolling to the right, we're going to roll to the left. So you're going to take both knees, roll them off and to the left. So the right leg is underneath, is wrapping around the left. You're going to reach your right arm across the floor. Turn your head away from those bent knees and stay here again for five full breaths. Now one more cleansing breath. I'm gonna have you walk, lift your knees up and just kind of step your foot to the center of the mat. You're gonna uncross your right leg. And now we're gonna take our left leg over the right. Just kind of relax here for a moment. You're gonna lift the knees up and wrap the hands around the hamstring and you're hugging the knees in towards your rib cage. So we get this great stretch into the outer left glute. Very good, one more full breath. And now we'll come into that really lovely twist. So we're gonna roll both knees off to the right. And, and you know, just know that if this does not feel, you know, right for your body tonight, you're just gonna stop. You're gonna do a typical, a, a regular twist, which is, is still this awesome pose. We're, we're getting a little, maybe a little more stretch into the, the butt, all right, the butt cheek. So reach the arms into a T. Close your eyes. Now coming into your breath.
And again, this is a cooling pose. All the poses we've done here are to allow the body to relax and to cool down. Take one more nice deep breath. Now you're gonna pick that legs up. Maybe step the foot to the center and uncross your legs. <laughs> you did a great job. You